Hi you guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would try to make some flowers using fabric ruffles. I've made a couple and then here is some that I found at Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance. I'm assuming they still have this sort of thing, but this particular um, design uh, they had on clearance and it's been, I don't know, quite a while ago. I have never made these before, so I'm hoping they work and I thought, you know, I might as well turn the camera on and see what happens. So we're going to figure this one out together. I cut out several pieces or several circles um, just from file folder. They're the cutoffs from the last journal that I made. So, you know, using up scraps. And so what I did was I tore about an inch um, strip of fabric and it is now about 30, this particular one is about 36 inches long. I don't know what it was before I sewed it into um, a ruffle. So I'm not sure about that. And, and I really have no idea how much of it it's going to take to make a flower or even if it's going to turn out very well. So let's just go ahead and give it a try. You know, something I've been meaning to tell you guys, don't leave your glue gun laying on your scissors. That's not good. <laughs> oh, glue gun gets pretty hot. I'm glad I found it before, you know, like it caused um, a bigger problem. I, I don't know. I've walked away with it on. That's not a good thing. So I'm just going to go around and even though I ruffled it up as I put glue down, I'm still just kind of scrunching it together because I want it to be nice and full. And I don't know, I might run out of fabric before I get to the end of the flower. And if that happens, then I'll have to stop and make, um, you know, another one, but we'll see. So I, I think I'm doing maybe about an inch worth of glue at a time. Otherwise it just hardens again. Yeah, we'll see. It does, it's using quite a bit. So I don't know what's gonna happen. But I think they'll be pretty. And we don't use red very often, do we? And I thought, you know, I'm going to try some red. So I'm just going to overlap a little bit and then I think I'll, I'll move down in there. I'm still doing maybe about an inch at a time. It seems to stay melted. I don't know, wet, melted. I don't know the proper term for that. It's not like it really dries, does it? It just hardens again. <laughs> so I don't know what you would call that. I think it looks pretty though already. It's supposed to start snowing here tonight. Um, and we have several days worth of snow in the forecast. That's, it's kind of strange. We always seem to get our snow, um, 
our our winter really starts in January, it seems. The first year, I don't know if I ever told you guys this. You know, I've I lived in um, Anchorage before I lived here. And, um, you know, there's plenty of snow. You know, there were very few winters where we didn't have an ungodly amount of snow. <laughs> um, it, it happened occasionally that it was a lighter snow year. But for the most part, it was way more than any person should want but a lot of people love it anyway the first year we moved here i was so excited about not dealing with all of the snow that year they had a record snowfall and it wasn't even i mean it was a record snowfall year but they had a record a record snowfall in a period of I don't remember now because it's it was in 2008, so I don't remember exactly, but it was something like 10 days or something like that, and we got 50 or 60 something inches. It was insane. Schools were closed, sh uh, stores were closed, everything closed, people's roofs were falling in, stores' roofs were falling in. Um it it was a nightmare. It was crazy. And and I'm like, what on earth is going on? <laughs> but um one thing we we were very popular very quick in our in our cul-de-sac because um we brought our snowblower with us. And so, you know, we were helping the neighbors blow out their their driveways and stuff. And um, one of the main roads, kind of an arterial road in Spokane, is called Francis. It's it's a it's a neighborhood road, but you have to use it to get into Spokane. Basically, the poor people who live there probably hate having all that traffic. But it's a four lane road, and the snow was so bad that it was a it was a two lane road at that point because. They had shoved it and shoved it and shoved it so much they couldn't shove the snow anymore. And, um, yeah, it was crazy, crazy business. My kids, you know, were little and they loved it because they didn't have to go to school. And it happened right about now because um, it they were on on winter break and they ended up not going back to school for... If I remember right, it was something like two weeks longer than, than they were supposed to be home for break. Um, they were home because of all of the snow. I mean, the roads weren't passable, you know, that sort of a thing. So people couldn't get anywhere. It was crazy. And I'm like, what have I done? <laughs> I thought I had gotten away from this. Okay, I think that is so pretty. And I was thinking of putting, um, well, I'm thinking of a blue one for this. And I was thinking of a bright white one for this. Oh, I love it. Now, I don't know how on earth I am going to get, I was gonna sew it, but there's no way I'm gonna get my needle through there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do instead, because I really like the the look of the thread in the holes rather than just the empty holes. You know, I do the empty holes sometimes, but I prefer the look of the thread in there. So I'll just go ahead and thread it. And I like it nice and thick. I'll just go ahead and thread it and I'll hot glue it down. Anyway, so every December, I'm afraid, or not December, January, I'm afraid it's going to happen again. And you know, it wasn't forecasted for that to happen. It surprised everyone um, when it just kept on and kept on and kept on. It was nuts. So I'm always like, no, please, not again. Let's see, maybe I'll put the glue on the back here. Yeah, Okay, you guys, I think this is so pretty. That's the thickness of it. I'm hoping you can see okay. 
I love that. There's a little poke of glue sticking out there, which I don't really like. Okay. So let's try another one. This one is shorter, so it's not going to make a very big flower. It's about 28 inches. So um, I might start in a little bit, you know, further. Actually, I'll just cut this one down so I don't have paper sticking out. I have my camera closer for my flowers this time. I keep on forgetting to to kind of move in a little bit. And so, you know, it's not as obvious what I'm seeing. Um, now, remember, I did tear this so it has the that teared look or torn look on both sides in case you, um, you know, want to try and make some. And I'm not saying this is like my original idea. I... I just was wanting to make some flowers and I thought, what do I have? So I will try this and see how it goes. And I think it's turning out really well. I had to run into town earlier today to grab a few things. Um, and the stores were much calmer. The Christmas craziness is over, which I'm very thankful for. And I have been working on my December daily to keep it, you know, up to date. Several days will go by before I get to work on it. And so as of right now, I am all caught up. I'm going to go ahead and go throughout the whole month. And then hopefully on, I don't know, I imagine on the second, I'll just do a final flip through so you guys can see it all finished. And then I will be putting all of my Christmas items away. I ran into Joanne Fabric after, because I was just about out of um, the glue that I use most often. So I ran in and they had all of their Christmassy ribbon on sale for 70% off, which was pretty good, I suppose. And so I bought some, I'm thinking to do um, for the Christmas tree next year. Um, to maybe do a little bit more of a color themed one. So, so that'll be something to look forward to. I'll need to get some more. I think I'm just going to do balls, you know, Christmas balls with it. It'd be pretty. It was like a gold and a black and a red. Um, oh, checker. What do you call that kind of? Like a flannel print. I don't know what you call that. Um, I don't know. But it's pretty. I think it'll be nice. For something different. I would love to have like themed fancy Christmas trees. But I've never been able to. Well, before the kids were. Maybe I told you this already. Before the kids were born. I used to collect Boyd's Bears, and um, that sort of thing was fairly popular at the time. So you could find ornaments. Not, you could find, of course, the Boyd's Bears ornaments, which I have some of. But you also had knockoffs that you could find pretty easily. 
So I bought quite a few knockoffs and I used to have a bear Christmas tree and I loved it. And I really thought the kids would like it too, but um, they liked having the multicolor lights and the ornaments that they would make at school and all that kind of thing. So I haven't had, you know, one that I preferred <laughs> since the kids were old enough to express their opinion about it. And I suppose since I'm okay, you know, I'm okay I can sacrifice the the design of the Christmas tree, you know, for their happiness. It's not that important to me. I remember when I was little and I loved the multicolor lights on the trees. I never liked the flashing ones. Um, because they would go all dark and then, then the tree was not lit. And, and so I always liked the ones that just stayed on and, and didn't flash. it down in there. Okay. And so this one I was thinking blue and I had a bigger blue one. Where did it go? Do you guys see it? Oh, there it is. I kind of got glue everywhere just now. I have a smaller blue one and a bigger blue one, and I'm thinking the smaller blue one is what I want, because I, I thought this was going to be a bigger flower. Let's see. Well, that one's fine. Maybe... Maybe I want the bigger one. I know you guys are saying, do the smaller one or do the bigger one. I'm going to go with bigger. And again, I'll just tie it like this. I pre-threaded my needles. Wasn't that brilliant? I was thinking, oh, it's going to take time to thread my needles on camera and it's going to mess up. I know it is. And I thought, Stephanie, bonehead, just thread them. I'm really trying to squish that down in there. There's one little spot right here that I don't like, so I'm going to add a little fabric to the back side. Do you see that right there? Uh, not the thread, but there's like a little chunk missing, and I don't like that, so I'm just going to add a little, and nobody will ever know. There, that filled it in. I guess I'll just go ahead and add it to the rest of it. It's going to be lopsided, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, it makes it look lopsided, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off now. Okay, so that one's being a little fussy, but I still think it's really pretty. What do you guys think? Okay, we'll do one more. And then these will be fun just to add somewhere to a journal. Okay, now this one's quite different. It's very, very thin type of fabric. We'll just get started on it. Fussy too. Yeah, this one's way harder to work with this particular it's a really really thin thin sort of fabric that this ruffle is made out of so it's kind of hard to get to do what I want it to do I think I need to put way less glue on at a time with this because it's just fussing with me. Okay, so if you try this, just know you might have to adjust your amount of glue depending on the fabric. It might get, you know, be really difficult depending on whatever fabric you're using. And it's on a roll, so now it's getting tangled up on itself. I just don't want to cut it off the roll because I don't know how much I'm going to be using. You know, let me just pull it off the roll. How about we do that? Hopefully my son doesn't have to work tomorrow. He has just a couple more weeks before they 
I think he said he has like a couple weeks before he's totally done and he's got to find a new job. But now I'm hoping that he doesn't have to get out in all the snow tomorrow. How stressful. It was really icy this morning and he did okay. But still. Scary for mama. Well, it's pretty, but it is fussy, that's for sure. And with the um, this thinner stuff, I'm doing maybe a half inch or just a little bit more of glue. So I have time to mess with it. Almost Okay. Maybe we'll stop around there. I do think maybe this was more tightly ruffled also than the the fabric that I was using. So that might also have been part of the problem. Okay, well it's pretty. And I have this one which it goes a little bit more with the color of the flower in there, but I don't like how it's that, I don't know what the right word is, iridescent look to it. Pile O buttons. I'm sure it's going to look different on um, camera also than what it looks like to me in person. I think that's the one I was already trying. There's a pretty one over here that's got like a little decoration to it. But it's still very red compared to the actual flower. That one's cute. But it has, oh. 
I like that one. Let's do that. And I don't even have to, I don't even have to sew it or, you know, put thread through the things. That's cute. Okay, so there's that one. I like them, you guys. Let me move some of my buttons out of the way. So here we go. I think they turned out really pretty. Now I need to make something to put them on. Hope you guys give them a try and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.